Cancer, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. We are going to tap into your weekly energy reading. You can have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node, okay? Please make sure that you like the video if you are watching. have uh, this week's strategy and financial constraints okay for your energy this week so cancer i'm feeling like um you're budgeting okay um you could be trying to pay off debt all right you're sitting down and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to get out of this situation. You're trying to create a strategy to free up your finances. It's clear as day. I mean, <laughs> we don't have to go through that. All right. Something you're planning that you want to do, but you don't have the finances to do it. You have three and four here. So you, you want to, you want to do something. To get out of, you know, financial turmoil or you want to do something, but financially you'll be restrained from doing that. Okay, message for, <laughs> messages for the collective of cancer. Weekly energy readings. <clears throat> so, some of you guys could have, um, had some type of reconciliation. Ace of Cups, yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys had some type of reconciliation with someone, okay? Deciding not to walk away, all right? Um, either you or this person had you in a third-party situation, but there's definitely been heartbreak here, okay? You decided to, to, to reconcile, right? But it's not really, I don't, I don't think people around you are happy about this, okay? People are like, oh my God, you can't, you can't see what's going on. Right? Yeah, you're, you're, you're choosing to go back to someone or allowing someone to come back in. Yeah, for a relationship, right? Um, you may feel as though this is your soulmate, right? But you're just like, you know what? This, is, this person makes me happy, all right? If you're having financial constraints, you're going back to this particular individual, right? This, this person can help you get out of these financial constraints. This is someone that you may have not been looking forward to being in a relationship with, okay? You weren't trying to make something happen. Like it's it's like you you were carefully thinking and you were moving slow, but you just did not go in for the offer. So there's been a change in your energy, okay? I feel like you're tapping into your feminine energy with the Queen of Cups here. Now, some of you guys could be uh, dealing with another water sign, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But um, others, I feel like this is just a change in energy, right? You have the Death card here, all right? Scorpio's energy, a new beginning. And you're like, you know what? No, let me just make this happen. Let's just go forward. There's somebody here that you may feel as though, you know, it's someone that can um, assist you. <clears throat> it's someone that... I'm hearing, like, you could be telling yourself, like, you know what? This is my person. This is who I really need to be with, yada, yada. But, like, maybe you're holding on to the fact that, like, when you were with this person, this person could have helped you financially. This person could have been a, a, a great big help financially. And so, you like, like you know that in the back of your mind. Like, I know I wouldn't have these issues if I was still with this person because they would actually, you know, assist me or they, you know, things would be better. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. But... This is someone that you you rec you really are like bored like it's not really like it's not really something that you really want to do and you're gonna realize it once you if you get back into it okay yeah Ace of Swords so you're gonna have a conversation with this person this week all right a little powwow letting them know what's on your mind getting some things off your chest. Trying to have success within this situation, all right? Letting them know, hey, you know, I want to do this again. You know, you're who I want. Yeah, two of pentacles here. Ooh. 
So with the two of pinnacles here, I feel like someone is juggling something or weighing their options, right? Trying to restore balance within a situation here. Page of cups, weighing your options. Should you reach out? Should you not reach out? Because you are not in communication with this person. There's no movement here. You're not in communication. <laughs> Some of you guys, this is going to be a heavy thought. But I feel like you're going to be in your head based on the risk of this person not accepting or based on the risk of this person not investing into this situation, not putting in the hard work, right? Tara, at the bottom of the deck, I feel like at this point, you're just like, you know what? I don't even want to. I want to get out of my head. And just move forward. But your judgment is in reverse. You're not. The, the pretense of moving forward to this isn't right. This is not. It may not go in your favor. Okay. Like somebody just. It, it just may be someone's spirit guides. Alright. Star card. Aquarius energy. Yeah. Leaving you out in the cold. Yeah, a lot of, of air here. You'll be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Leaving you out in the cold. This person may know that you're having financial troubles and things like that. And then this person, like, may feel as though, feel the energy like, hey, this person, you know, they're 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 going within and they're thinking about this. Like, I know this person, right? They 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 want they want my assistance. May <laughs> I'm here and laying it on too thick. Maybe you laid it on too thick. Yeah, leaving it out in the cold. Something is being illuminated. Right? This person is weighing, weighing, uh, weighing their wrists, right? They have Queen of Cups here and the King of Cups. Or I'm hearing like this person, like if you're going back into this person to make something happen, what they're going to require from you, you're going to be like, wait, hold on, slow down. <laughs> like at first, you know, they would be like, okay, yeah, you know, y'all were dating and like this person may be like, well, yeah, if we do it, you know, we're going to really do it. <laughs> you know, like when we get married. <laughs> but someone here is just like not even thinking twice. Yeah, someone's not even thinking twice about this. It's not going to be a successful offer. Whether you're going to them, they're going to you. Somebody is just like, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. New beginnings with the fool card here. You could, in someone, you could have children with someone. This could be a past life partner that you're dealing with here. Could be a fire sign, Leo, okay, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys are weighing your options in reference to someone that could be the path of least resistance, but then you go and give someone else an opportunity. Yeah, them investing into this, yeah. Some of you guys passed up on an opportunity with someone else to go after someone in, in Ten of Swords. Yeah, chariot. No forward movement on this. So, so like, you kind of were in your head weighing your options and it backfired. You know, I don't know. Y'all got to let me know what's happening with that cancer. All right, let me see if I can pull some more messages for you. It's like you had the right person there, but you stayed in your head too long. I, I don't know, I don't know. And then you went after something else and then that didn't work. And you're like, dang, now you done lost both of them. But I know, I get how that is. Because sometimes like the person that really likes you, don't you don't really like them or you don't, it's something that you're looking for that you, you don't have in them. And then the person that you really like, you know, they with the BS. Yeah, that type of energy. Okay, that's just the, the collective cancer. Okay. Yep. So I feel like you're working your butt off right now, okay?
trying to get out of whatever this financial, uh, these financial uh, restrictions that you have, okay? You're very thankful, all right? You're very thankful here. Um, I feel like you're coming up with plans on how to move, maneuver around certain things, all right? Um, you may hear about something about why you were rejected, okay? Or why something didn't go the way that it was supposed to go, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... I feel like, like, okay, so you know how it goes, like sometimes you're strategizing and you're like, okay, I got to figure this out. You know, faith without work is dead, so let me figure out how to do this. And you're strategizing. You know that one person was like, would, would be there, the, the person that you thought would come in and help, but then they're like, no, you want me because you're struggling. And the person that actually would have been, you know, a great help to you, the path of least resistance, you, you didn't go towards that way. And then, you know, you're going to be, you're going to get like enlightenment on why, you know, your spirit guides rejected you going back to the person that you wanted to. There is abundance coming in here for you, okay? There is abundance happening. Um. Also, what I'm hearing is your person could be coming into some type of abundance. Your person could be coming into some type of money or something like that. And they they don't, they, they being funny. Mm-hmm. Listen to your in, your instinct at this time, Cancer. Something is going to something is going to to come to an end. There may be someone in your family or very close to you that you may lose and get some type of inheritance. That's going to get you out of whatever, like, if you get some type of inheritance, you're moving on past something. Have faith, okay? Move in silence, all right? Whatever you're doing, people don't have to know what you're doing. Just move in silence, right? Come um, come together with your plans, especially if you get some type of inheritance. Child, you don't want nobody knowing that. Not everybody, your friend. Everybody want to get things back right, all right? All right, that's your message. Um, if you like the message, consider sticking around. Click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to all, so you can be notified when I upload a video. If you would like a personal reading, click the description box below um, to book your personal reading. I'll share it.